one of the things that criti critical realism does is brings puts ontology right into the center of everything. Yeah. Right. But not just that, there's a nuanced ontology. Mm. So the distinction between nature and society and people, as in, you know, call it ethics, aesthetics, uh, you know, inner life, for want of a better word, whatever that may be. And that these three have their own properties. They are distinct in their own right. And, yes. But they are always related. Yes. They are always related. There is no, I mean, nature perhaps, you know, does not need us, but we cannot, there is no social life without nature. And there is no social life without the inner life. Yes. That drives us to, to everything. Uh, yes. And that's why we get wound up about oppression of women or race or whatever it is. So I think it is making those distinctions then brings the attention to relations. Yes. And, and that, is, that is what becomes the focus then. And so for me, critical realism has been helpful in thinking through whatever the problem, whether I'm writing about water, whether I'm writing about liberal rights and constitutionalism, how, whatever the social problem, it has two flanks. Mm. I mean, one mm. flank is the nature flank. Because if we are all dependent on nature, there is always nature in anything, any social problem that you might want to address. And mm. then on the other flank is my own, uh, is our inner life. You know, yes. the things that motivate us to research. Why are we talking about women? Because women suffer. And therefore, you know, that is what motivates us to research about women. Why are women suffering? Why are people of race suffering? Mm. So that becomes the inner motivation to then even examine some of these questions. And I think for me, the, the challenge has always been to keep the three interlocked. And I think very often, the risk is that you leave one flank out and the social theory becomes distorted. Right. You leave nature out. I mean, you talk about gender, you don't talk about biology, you know. Yeah. And then at a time when you have these huge scientific industrial complexes colonizing women's bodies, doing, you know, all kinds of technologies, which in my part of the world is disastrous. I mean, if you look at aminosynthesis, or surrogacy, the social problem that it causes. And aminosynthesis has completely destroyed the gender ratio in my country, yes. you know, the sex ratio, and has led to excessive violence against women at a level we have never seen. Yeah. So I can't make sense of violence against women in India if I don't take into account the biological side, which yeah. goes in the name of scientific discourse, and the social side, uh, and the emotional side, the trauma of so many women being burnt alive, raped, you know, all kinds of things. So, so I think this helps you to bring those things together. 